What's up, YouTube? Mr. Jua here. You know, the other day, I was uh, in the chat on Karg, which, if you're not familiar, is Calling All Retro Gamers podcast here on YouTube. It's hosted by uh, my buddy Rich at uh, Bacon Ice Cream Productions and my other buddy Ed from uh, The Evercade Effect. They're, uh, you know, friends of the channel. And uh, Ed had referenced the shirt I had on in my last video. And I wanted to uh, speak about that because it's a pretty cool shirt. It was a um, PAX exclusive. And this was the uh, retro arcade shirt that they happened to offer. You know, gave it the, uh, you know, the old Atari look. And uh, what you're looking at here, you know, uh, there we go. You see the asteroids falling. And that's not some bitchin' mothership, unfortunately. Well, I mean... Fortunately enough, because it's a pretty cool looking building. But, uh, that happens to be the Boston Convention Center. Yeah. <laughs> that actually happens to be the Boston Convention Center. And, uh, this was their limited run T from the, uh, from PAX East 2024. So, yeah. They usually have some pretty cool merchandise. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get back to the meat and potatoes of this episode. So one of the things I love about going to conventions is you get to see a lot of indie devs. And some of those indie devs produce new inbox games for old systems. This is Full Quiet, and this I've had my eye on for quite some time. Now, Full Quiet comes from Retrotainment Studios. If you don't know these guys, you should. Because they've released Haunted Halloween 85. And let's get that up in here. Yep. And the signatures you're seeing on that are the development team for that game. And I've also got the same thing going on on Haunted Halloween 86. Now... If you don't know these games, you should, because they're pretty awesome. For when it comes to uh, homemade game or homebrew games, they're fantastic. And this game is no exception. I've watched this game in production for quite some time, and I'd rather pick a game up at a convention and actually talk to the developer about it, you know, just to get a feel for what the game is and if they're available. It's an awesome thing to do. Because... You know, you're among like-minded people who have the same passions and interests that you have. So, this is the cartridge. And typical fashion, I had them sign it. Because, why not? I'm there. I might as well. Am I going to play this? You bet your ass I am. It's going to be pretty sick. Because if you can't tell, I'm kind of a nest dork. So, let's uh, see what else we got in this bag. And uh, these I've had for a couple of years. Those aren't from this recent packs. I think I picked those up in 2017 and 2018 or 2016 and 2017. Something like that. So, let's get into the rest of the bag. And uh, we're going to stick with the NES for a little bit. Because there's two consoles in this bag. Well, two consoles worth of games in this bag. And, uh... You can't go wrong with Galaga. Galaga's a bitchin' game. Another game I picked up. Ninja Gaiden 2. Ninja Gaiden 2. However you want to say it. I don't care. If you've played them, they're awesome. It doesn't get much better than that for platformers on the NES. And speaking of awesome ninja platformers, you can't go wrong with a copy of Shinobi. And uh, if you weren't aware, something look different here. This is a Tenjin game, and people who are behind Tenjin, yeah, that's a whole story we can get into later if you want. If you want to know more about it. 
drop a comment down below and uh, we'll talk about that. Ikari Warriors. This game, awesome. If you haven't played it, uh, you should. It's pretty rad. And to go along with that, the sequel. And the last, uh, no, is it? Yeah. The last NES game I picked up was Impossible Mission. I don't normally talk prices on games. And on the NES stuff, we're not going to get into that. Uh, I think the homebrew price, hang on, let me just... Uh, now, if you see here, this is uh, Retrotainment Games' website, and the copy I got is the limited edition. It's 80 bucks, complete in box. They have a glow-in-the-dark cartridge for 60 And uh, I want to say it's sold out now, but I want to say the loose copy was 50 And uh, you can also get Haunted Halloween, 85 and 86 complete, or... 85 is the Famicom cartridge. 86 is sold out. And the gray carts are also sold out. But if you've never heard of these guys, I highly recommend it. They're awesome. Uh, Tim and the rest of the guys over there at Retrotainment Studios are really down to earth and they're really focused on really just 8 bit NES. And it's really awesome. And they support a lot of other developers in the community so check it out uh if you want to do if you want me to do a uh, full review copy or a review on the copy of uh full quiet i will um i'm about that life so let's uh do a little bit of youtube magic and All right, now those guys are gone. So, uh, yep, they're back there. So now let's uh, move on to the rest of what's in this bag. And this is all from the same cartridge, or not the same cartridge, the same console. And uh, I'm going to get into how much I spent on this because I kind of stole these games for the price of what I paid. And if you're into... Well, I'll give it away. If you're into hmm, the Atari 2600, you'll uh, probably agree with me. Now, some of these games are worth a couple bucks, and some of them aren't. And I'm not going to go through what the current uh, aftermarket prices are on these games, but... One of them is worth quite a bit. And uh, we're going to start off with Star Wars. Ooh, there we go. Uh, the Empire Strikes Back. It's in pretty good shape. The label's a little rough, but what do you expect? The game's 40 years old. They all can't be pristine. The next copy is uh, from Parker Brothers. Or... Also from Parker Brothers. The last one was too. This is Amadar. These are all really good games. It's kind of a little theme going here. Um, another Parker Brothers game. And this is a classic. I think everybody's probably played this game. In some rendition form or another. But... You can't go wrong with Frogger. Yeah, that's right. The green guy got his start. Well, not here, but in the arcade. And this was based off of it. It's pretty close. Not close, but you know what I'm saying. It's a great game. This is uh, from Coleco. And this is Venture. 
Never actually played this game, but every collection of 2,600 games I've ever seen, there's a copy of this in there. So, it's either got to be good, or it was a really big gotcha back in the 80s. But, either way, I'm going to find out. Oh, and speaking of Coleco, this is another game that everybody has in their collection from the 80s of 2,600 games, and that, Donkey Kong. Is it the greatest copy in the world? Or the greatest game in the world? No. But, uh, sure is fun. What else we got in here? Oh, we're starting to get down to the end. Okay. A couple of good ones in here. And, uh, can you go wrong with Frostbite from Activision? I didn't think so. Speaking of great games, this is from Sega, and this is Thunderground. It's another awesome game. Let's uh, keep these guys all stacked up in view so we can get a little idea here. Bring those over. And uh, I seen this and I couldn't pass it up. Is this the greatest version of this game? No. But did I have to buy it because I seen it? Yeah. And that is upside down. That's the Mario Brothers for the 2600. And it's with the exception of this little dimple in the corner there, it's a pretty clean copy. I was kind of happy to find that. I was hoping it would be a, it would be a 7800 copy because out of the, the three that came out for Atari, the 7800 is probably the best version. But the closest to the arcade is probably the one on the NES. Now, the reason I got all these games, or the price I paid for all of these games that you see here, and the last one that I'm going to pull out, was 40 bucks, And you can't pass it up, especially for what I'm about to pull out. Because when the guy said 40 bucks at the booth, and I had all this, and the last game in this bag... I couldn't get my money out fast enough because one of the greatest games to ever come out on the Atari 2600 is Beam Rider. And if you don't know about this game, you're living under a rock because this game is a blast. I think I might have to bust out 2600 plus probably another video. And, uh, you know, let's play, some, play through some of my favorite games. So, let's get this out of here. And... Say, uh, thank you for coming to another video on Mr. Shua TV. I appreciate all of you. And I couldn't do any of this without any of you guys. So like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, maybe the next video, I might push it back another one just to, just to tease it a little bit longer. I'm pretty excited for what's in that box. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. Anyways, thanks for coming out. Appreciate all you guys.